But it does seem like the machine is kind of trying to scare everybody. You guys know CNN's resident doctor, Sanjay Gupta. Here's what he tweeted out yesterday because schools are starting up. He wrote, schools around the country are back in session just in time for respiratory virus season. What are your back to school questions? When it comes to COVID-19, RSV, or flu, I'll try to answer as many questions as possible this Wednesday on CNN This Morning. So yes, it is the fall, and people do tend to get a little more sick in the fall because the weather's changing. It's a little cooler in most of the country. And yes, kids then are around each other. Back in my day, I'm a child of the 80s. You'd go to school, somebody might be sick. They might take a day off. Everybody would deal with it. Your teacher might be sick. You'd have a substitute teacher. You didn't close school down. You didn't shut kids out for a year and everything else. A DC area elementary school, Montgomery County, Maryland, is reinstating a mask mandate, N95s, for third graders over a few kids testing positive for COVID. Here's the letter. They're coming with masks for your kids again. Get ready, read this insanity. And then he, uh, he screen captures the whole thing right there. Guys, once again, as we referenced yesterday, masks do not work. Okay, even N95 masks most likely don't work. And even if they did, the damage you are doing, especially to a young person, a third grader putting them in this thing, I cannot believe this is where we're at again, but the damage, you're gonna put them like they're Bane. At least Bane could breathe through that thing. But the damage, they can't see their friends. They can't smile. They just bow to the system. They become little cogs in a machine. It is just so evil. And I wanted to mention this one. We showed you this one yesterday, but just real quick from Jay Bhattacharya over at Stanford. It's not just uh, elementary schools in Maryland. It's places like University of Michigan. At the University of Michigan, students testing COVID positive must leave their dorms for five days and live in the community. A hotel room or a relative's house is okay. This cruel policy is designed to spread COVID from the university into the wild. It won't stop COVID from spreading. It makes no sense, as I talked about yesterday. If you have a kid at a college who's got COVID, let him spread it with a bunch of young, healthy people, and maybe they'll have the sniffles for a little bit like they would with the flu. You don't send them to grandma's house. You morons.